Well, here I am making my um, one year update video of my aquarium. It's been up a little over a year. And I'll sit down here. Move over, guys. Try to make this vid a little different than the others. This is what it looks like sitting from the far side of the room. Not too bad. To me, it still looks pretty sparse. There's lots of new frags in there. I move things around all the time. I might not like where something is or where a particular color is. But um, all in all, I'm pretty happy. I'm, I'm really happy with the, uh, the Aquascape. I like it better than my last tank. There seems to be more room. I like the arch. Um, I still feel like I have a long way to go, which is good. It's, it's fun in the hobby to have stuff to do. You don't want to get bored. So let me move. <clears throat> like I said, this is the back side. This is where I was sitting. I get a lot of questions about the sunroom and people who want to have an aquarium in the sunroom and they're afraid there's going to be too much algae growth or um, problems in keeping the, uh, the temperature stable. And I've never had any difficulty with algae growth. I mean, sunlight is what your reef wants anyway. Um, excess algae is basically a phosphate and nutrient problem, not a light problem. And as long as you can control the temperature, I just use a fan and the temperature can go over 80 degrees in here plenty of times. Um, everything works out well. There's some of my frags. One of the frustrating things about doing this is the slow growth of some and the fast growth of others. I got this red planet. I'm not sure what that blue colony is right there. And that tiny little frag on the end of the rock all at the same time. I mean, look at the size of that frag. It's one year old. It's a watermelon millie. I've just about beat my cyano problem. Now it's a new tank. I kind of expected it. Sadly, I recently lost my female blue throat trigger. I have no idea what she died from. She didn't show any signs of distress or disease. Just all of a sudden, one day, she was dead. Um, the male was hovering over her, and I removed her from the tank. And that was about three weeks ago. And ever since then, he hides in the rocks and rarely comes out. I have to get him another mate. I don't want him to, like, pine away and die. My anemone recovered, thank goodness from the crash of last year. I was almost certain it was going to die. It really looked really bad for a while there. And then it came back. There's still so much I want to do. And I've had to replace a lot of my equipment down in the basement in the sump area. Right now I'm waiting for a main pump, a new main pump. It's going to be a DC pump and a um, motor block for my skimmer. That my skimmer is 10 years old, the pump finally went and I need a new motor block for it. So I can't complain, 10 years old. I'll do a vid of that um, when that's all finished downstairs. It's a whole new configuration than what I had before. But this is the front of the tank. There it is. Hope you enjoyed it.